is Katie, and today I'm going to be doing a cooking video! No, just kidding, I'm just in my kitchen because of a random reason that I just cannot come up with right now. Um, pretty much, I was just down here chowing down on my Chinese food. Oh my gosh, I love Chinese food. I just had to smell it for emphasis. And I decided, you know what, Katie, um, what would be a lovely idea for a video today? And I was like, <laughs> other Katie, I know it'd be great to do a Lush video because I've gotten so many questions and like, concerns and all this stuff about what the heck is Lush? Lush. It is a bath product store in my nail polish. It's Teal the Cows Come Home by OPI. So I'm basically going to be doing a little like video on bath stuff, mostly Lush, but basically I have this big hunkin' thing right here full of all my bath stuff. I'm going to be showing you guys the stuff I use when I want to, you know, doll myself up, just... <sighs> not the makeup department. And you know what? Like totally when I like got this idea in my head to do this video, um, like totally <laughs> thought through what I just said and I just realized I said the word totally, like totally, for sure. I just got a manicure. So when I thought up this lovely idea, I thought of a song that reminds me of the bath. And I'm going to sing it for you right now. Oh, rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time lots of fun. Oh, rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Oh, oh, oh. Embarrassment is over with. Let's get on to the video. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is something that's great for a present for your friend. So say if you're going to Lush because you have a like a bath product or a makeup a beauty obsessed friend like myself. Um, I would tell my friends to buy me this. Like one of my friends, Gabby, actually bought me this for Christmas. Buttercup. A little like box and inside of it it has inside of it, it has two bath bombs or bath bomb and something else and this is the their this is Lush's best selling product for bath stuff for like a gift wise I don't know I'll come wraps really prettily like prettily is that a word really pretty like like this so I just give it to two in one the next thing, I'm just going to go through the stuff that I have in here, basically. So, what's in my Lush box, I guess? It's the Blackberry, I believe, bath bomb. It just says bomb on it. And this is from my haul a long time ago. I still have these. These last for a very long time, so don't get freaked out about it. Um, they'll last you. This was one of the very first bath bombs I ever purchased, and I used to chop them in half so I could save them, but now I've just been putting the whole thing in there just because I'm done with the whole saving because you need to have the whole full experience. But I recommend if you're starting out and you're not really that big on bath stuff to chop it in half first just so you get the whole feel for it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that one just like exploded chalk dust on me. Mask of Magna Minty and this was actually in my recent favorites video um, and basically you open it up and it's green. It smells like mint and like aloe like mixed all together. It smells really natural and you put it on your face and then you wash it off after like 10 minutes as it hardens and this is really great. Um, I'm not even going to read all the ingredients, but they're all natural. You can bring back five of these and get a free face mask. In the bottom of the barrel, guys. I'm going to hit pan. Eek! It's really great to use when you're like hanging out with friends because you can all look really green and glamorous. Green and gl glamorous and green. <laughs> and so it's exploded. The next list thing I have is this green one. And I do believe this is it's just a green one. It's a solid green one. This was like a solid blue with a little bit of pink in it. And these all smell really natural. I definitely recommend the bath bomb if you're just starting out because it's kind of confusing to start out with other things. Definitely ask the people there for help. I know the people at my local Lush are so like kind and just generous and they'll help you out with whatever you need. Maybe this is Avo Bath. I don't know. It's a little white guy. I feel like I just bought this recently. Looks like snow. One thing that you do not want to get from Lush are their lip scrubs. I've already talked about this a lot in my favorites video, so go check that out, my Janie Jan favorites. Um, okay. Next is this, and this is a fortune cookie soap, and this is not from Lush. Oh, shoot. I'm filming a video. Say hi. Hi. Okay, bye. These pants. Let me see them. They're, what is that? They're Show our them. dance. Walk by. They're my dance pants. They're her dance pants. They you see her tail. dance pants? They have a tail on them. Now, what is this, Ashley? A fortune cookie soup? You found this? She found this in the shower. What did you think? I was just like, what is that? That's exactly what she said. She thought like it was a soap and it morphed into this, but this is actually made like this. And there's no fortune inside. Another bath product I really, really like um, is this, and it's the 
Do you mind? I'm What's with your hair today? I had to put another Turn around. Tail, but now it's like all weird. Oh, goodness. Brush your hair, Missy. The grocery store. <laughs> I know, really original. Um, this is what it's called. And I got this in my stocking from Sandy Claus, but I picked it out, so if you, if you get what I mean. Little thingy the jigs. And you put this in under the running water, and it just makes it feel really smell really lavender-y. So if you like lavender smells, this is great. And it makes you feel all calm, so if you're like a restless sleeper, or if you're really... Can I complete my own sentences, poor, poor, poor? whoop dee doo da you're better. This is going to be a fun video to edit. Bath fizzy. Can I see? Can I see it? This is what it looks like. Mold well, into it? Oh, like it does not mold. She thinks this molds into a fortune cookie. No. I'm not sure. It smells like lavender. Yeah, like lavender and like a hint of soap. Bunny. Wait, you can't even spot? see it. The Bunner. Ears. Yeah. It looks kind of like a worker hat. Like you put on a worker hat. But that's what's what it looks like. I have a lot of other organic, like, Etsy things in here. So, yeah, any final words? I don't know if you guys got any advice from that at all. Basically, if you're going to Lush, ask a lot of questions. Get some bath bombs. Get some face masks. I recommend staying away from all the face stuff unless you're absolutely necessary that you want to go organic or whatever they do there. Um, I don't really get my face washes from there, but I'm not one to talk because I haven't really tried yet. So, I definitely recommend if you're going to do anything that drastic, like any acne things or anything like that, definitely ask a salesperson. I haven't really experimented with the soaps quite yet. I got one for my friend for Christmas, but I haven't gotten one myself. Did I say soaps? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's the Kardashian. I'm hungry. We're going to go eat. Bye. The rubber ducky, joy of joys. When I squeeze you, you make noise.